Now let's begin right here in the 12th district, right where we're standing now. For three decades, this has been solidly Carolyn Maloney territory, but thanks to redistricting and Jerry Nadler, that will not be true for much longer. Congressman Jerry Nadler cruised to victory over his longtime colleague, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, and attorney Surge Patel. Nadler's win virtually guarantees him a 16th full term in Congress in the heavily Democratic 12th district, covering much of Manhattan's east and west sides. In his victory speech, he recalled others who represented New York in Congress. But here is the thing. I'm a New Yorker, just like... Just like Bella Abzug and Ted Weiss and Bill Ryan, and we New Yorkers just don't know how to surrender. Nadler's victory marks the end of Maloney's three decades in Congress. Redistricting pitted the two longtime House members against each other. The race got ugly, with Maloney quoting a New York Post editorial that called Nadler senile. Carolyn Maloney and I have spent much of our adult lives working together to better both New York and our nation. Maloney conceded and wished Nadler well. I am proud to have followed in the footsteps and stand on the shoulders of the strong New York women who opened doors and took on the tough battles. In another closely watched race, former federal prosecutor and Levi Strauss heir Dan Goldman edged out Assemblywoman Eulene New in a crowded race in the newly formed 10th District, covering Lower Manhattan and parts of Brooklyn. Although the Associated Press called the race, New has not yet conceded. Goldman helped argue the case against Donald Trump at his first impeachment trial. Tonight, though, is, is not a victory for myself uh, or any one person. It is a victory for all of us, all of us who will not let author authoritarian forces undermine the foundation of our democracy and the rule of law. In the 17th district, covering parts of the lower Hudson Valley, Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney, who had the backing of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and former President Bill Clinton, Clinton easily beat state senator Alessandra Biagi, a progressive who had Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's endorsement. In the 11th district, spanning parts of Brooklyn and all of Staten Island, Republican Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis and former Congressman Max Rose, a Democrat, easily won their primaries. That sets up a rematch of their 2020 contest, right. which Maliotakis won. And in western New York's 23rd district, the state Republican Party chair Nick Langworthy won his primary over Carl Palladino, who has a history of making racist and sexist comments. So over the last few days, we've been beating the turnout drum. We said it was all about turnout, turnout, turnout. Here's what we mean by that. As of 6 o'clock last night, according to numbers supplied by the City Board of Elections, a little more than 10%, 10%, of eligible voters had cast ballots in person here in New York City. That includes early voting. Now, yes, the final turnout number will end up being higher since polls stayed open until 9, but those 6 p.m. numbers demonstrate just how few voters came out right in the middle of the summer when so many New Yorkers are away.